Ubiquiti have just announced Protect 5.0, which is in early access, and we have the announcement of the ENVR. So let's take a quick look at the announcement and then we'll dive a little bit deeper into some of the products and features. Introducing Unify Protect 5.0, featuring groundbreaking performance improvements for massive scale. Deploy 1,000. So we can see right there, the Enterprise NVR is going to have 16 slots available there, and that's three and a half inch HDD or SSD support. So you can fill it with as much as you want in there. Plus camera sites with our new Enterprise. We have two redundant power supply units, which you can see at the back there to make sure that your unit is still going and not having any issues. Nice NVR and vantage point scaling. Experience near instant loading with our re-architected encoding engine and extend recording capacity significantly. Even right here, we have all 16 slots that are filled with 16 terabyte drives. So that will give you 224 terabytes worth of storage. And what about those aging sites with and, other- And right here is the first look at the new third party cameras that you can add where you're gonna be adding ONVIF cameras. So just selecting the camera itself and typing in the username and password. No problem. Unify Protect 5.0 marks the start of our OnViv support plan, allowing seamless- And that wording right there was chosen very carefully, so there's a third party support plan coming. So this is just the first step on what's gonna be coming, but let's take a look at what else there is. Management of third party cameras within Unify, completely license free. We're also excited to deliver on other popular requests, including tags for easier camera management and event retrieval. So another feature right there is we now have tags so you can very easily go ahead and tag your areas now. So front, back, restricted access zone like it has here or anything else that will help you first floor, second floor, etc. So it looks to be multiple tags that you can create. Multi chime support for doorbells and expanded history archive. And another great feature there, if you'd missed that one, so which is the multiple chime support as well. So no longer do you only have one chime per door, you can add multiple in there that now support Google Drive, Microsoft OneDrive, Dropbox, and even general SMB NAS Drive. So before we only had Google Drive, OneDrive, and the NAS, we now have Dropbox support, which has arrived within Protect 5.0 as well. Drives. Stay tuned for more exciting Unify Protect updates coming soon. So that right there is some really exciting news that's just come out. And looking at the price tag on here, we can just see this is going to be coming in at $2,000. And if you're UK based, it's around £1,900. So we've mentioned that there's 16 drives in there. This can support up to 74K cameras or 210 full HD cameras. I expect the 2K one to be somewhere in the middle of that around about maybe 150 ish, but that's just a speculation at this point. This is a three U unit. So it's going to take up three U's within your rack. There's two 10 gig SFP uplink ports and one 10 gig RJ45 port. It has data protection with RAID storage technology. So we expect that with the amount of disks that are in there, there's going to be some element of RAID in there. And what we saw in the video is two hot swappable PSUs. In terms of the capacity, I mentioned around about 150 cameras, so I wasn't too far off. There's 142K cameras that it can support. And the final thing, if you wanna have a look at the max consumption, so with the drives, there's 310 watts and 410 watts for the units and the drive in total. These do have rail supports on them, so obviously taking that in and out, that's gonna be quite heavy. Just the weight of it alone is 16.6 kilos. There is a fairly decent amount of weight to it. If you wanna go ahead and get yourself a bezel, they're gonna be available additionally, so they don't actually come within. You get a faceplate that integrates with the ENVR. It has a 4.7 inch touchscreen display with LED illumination. You can see the disc overview of management. You can view live streams directly from the rack itself and physically secure your discs with a door latch. So if you wanna buy that one, that comes in at $299 on top of the ENVR. So the full complete kit, you're looking at $2,298. And for those looking to get it in the UK, it is 286 pounds and 80 pence, including VAT. Let's recap on some of those Protect 5.0 features, which we're gonna get ONVIF support for third-party cameras. This looks part of their plans to introduce the third-party cameras into the ecosystem. This has been something that's been called out for for a long time, how it's been a closed ecosystem. Well, you now have your answer. This is now open to third-party cameras. So I'm really excited to see what we're gonna be able to do with that. We have device tagging, so you can go ahead and split out your cameras into different areas, should you wish to do so. 
We have the archiving expansion, so we can go ahead and add in Dropbox to this as well. And finally, the multiple chime mapping. So you can now have multiple chimes to one doorbell. What are you hoping for in Protect 5.0 or even in future versions? Let me know down in the comments below. It is in early access at the moment, but as soon as it's available, I'll be dropping a video on it. So be sure to like and subscribe. And if there's something specific you want to see, let me know down in the comments below.